My name is Chisum Okwar. My friends call me Chis. Some people call me Chigi. But yeah, Chisum Okwar. <laughs> um, I would say like Vibe Out by Thames. I like R&B music, so Vibe Out by Thames would be my intro song. Yeah. Where am I from? I'm from Nigeria. <laughs> I was born and brought up, brought up in Lagos, Nigeria. I moved to Abuja down the line, so I've kind of like been around like, like a bunch of like uh, cities in Nigeria and what do I do? I'm a software engineer. Did I get that right? Did I say where am I from? Yes. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> do, I, do I take it back? No, it's fine. All, all of this is fine. Okay. <laughs> software engineer at Google, um, particularly in uh, Google Geo, Google Maps. I wouldn't say I've I've always been interested in software engineering. But while I was in high school, because in Nigeria, you pick your career path in high school. I was a business major and I came to study in the US and I took one computer science course and I was like, I think this is a very interesting like path for me to take. And I switched to computer science. And ever since then, I've been interested in like the software industry or the tech industry. I wouldn't say like I'm particularly fixated on software engineering as a, like a field but like I'm interested in like uh, tech in general. I went to college in Fisk University in Nashville, Tennessee. Fisk University is a small HBCU campus. Got my computer science degree there. I did like three internships in college. Two of them were at Google at different teams and one of them was for like a tech, fintech startup. I, got, I did like a step internship. When I was a sophomore, I did a SWE internship as a junior and I got a return offer to come back to Google as a software engineer. There's a particular way like these tech companies want you to interview, like you know, being able to communicate your ideas and like training, like train, like just training myself with like those little basic skills. So we had like engineers coming to like to train us. We had like the senior, the seniors in our college like interview prepping us, and that's how I was able to get comfortable like you know solving those like little brain teasers and like questions that they, the tech interviewers asked and. Um, and also my computer science classes as well, my project and my work experiences and my, also my, my leadership work on campus as well it was all like, like I, I would say like the, the story I, I, I used to <laughs> get into Google. Both of my internships were actually virtual. So compared to all the Google internship stories you've heard, you probably watched the internship. Like it's, I didn't get that internship experience, eating in the cafe, talking to my manager in person, everything was wholly virtual. But I would say like I was able to learn, it was a huge learning curve. That's when I got introduced to like, you know, designing your own project and seeing something complete from like uh, start to finish. But I would say like, uh, you know, it was, it was in general a good experience, a great experience. <laughs> yeah. So I work in Geo. Geo is the, the product area in charge of Google Maps. So particularly, I like work on Google Maps for cars, use Google Map data to support like autonomous driving and like advanced driving in high-end vehicles. That's what my team specifically works on. My day to day, you know, wake up in the morning, I work out, do my ab workouts, do yoga. So I, just, I like to do something in the morning before I go to work, just to break that routine of wake up, you know, work. Most times I work in the office. I work in the office three times a week. So mostly like meetings with my manager, we have, I do a lot of meetings, a lot of design work, a lot of reviews, then the code writing as well. So um, that's what makes up my day, uh, lunch. Um, yeah, when I get back home, I'm a content creator, so I work on my YouTube videos, work out, hang out with friends, talk to my loved ones. Um, so yeah, that's basically how my day to day looks like. Working at Google is great, I would say like, the work-life balance is really good. I mean, it can be like uh, on a team-by-team -team basis, but I would say the, the work-life balance is good. And, you know, my manager is also like a great person. It's someone I can talk to about like, you know, things going on, my career and stuff. Um, you know, no place is perfect. There's no perfect, like 100% perfect company or 100%, there's no utopia. If not, everyone will want to be there, right? So, uh, but I would say working at Google 
is great. <laughs> Challenging parts of working at Google is very specific to your role and your level because like every level have like would have their own like challenge and expectations yeah, that they are meant to meet. But for me, I would say the most challenging part now is not even like writing code or like doing all that stuff, but it's like actually designing and making critical decisions. Because like we build products that like impact millions of people every day. We don't want to write something and push something out and someone is driving, they crash, right? So it's very life, life sad. Like, you know, people depend on this, <laughs> you know. So if you have a design choice, you have to know how to defend it and know like, you know, so that, that, that requires you to have very like critical technical knowledge, you know, understanding how things work and why things work the way they do. So I think that's the like growth area for me in my, in my career right now. Just like getting all the foundational technical knowledge, like memory usage or like, you know, all that like deep technical stuff that I didn't get to like, you know, cover in college that you have to learn on the job. So I think like that's the um, growth area for me and the challenge for me at the moment. Based on my experiences of being like a black woman at Google, it's been good. So I think sometimes like at least when I was an intern, maybe like imposter syndrome, maybe feeling I'm not good enough, maybe feeling people who went to Harvard and the Ivy Leagues were a lot better than me. But like I think I kind of like I'm kind of getting rid of that like gradually. Like once once I figured out oh I can build features, I can I've done the same thing i've landed features i've made progress i've achieved xyz so when i look back on that i'm like okay i think i, I, I i've done this i can do it right so like sometimes it could be it's 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 it could be hard to like in my early like a uh, high college years it was hard to like get through that but i think like based on my achievements and and yeah that's kind of like in the past for me but i think google as a company is very like supportive like the d and d and i Diversity and inclusion at Google was like really good. There's a lot of support, ERGs. We have our community. We founded like a you know Africans at Google community, Africans at Washington Google community here in Seattle. I know who to talk to if I'm going through like any like you know challenge with my career and stuff. Like actually being a black woman in tech, but I think it's been good so far. Yeah. The advice I have for people who like uh, want to become software engineers or who want to work in tech is like maybe having an idea or figuring out what you like because people say i want to work in tech tech is very broad there are like one million things you could do in like the tech industry right so it's like understanding okay where do i want to place myself and like what are the skills i need to actually get into like that like does it align with me does it align with my skill sets would i be happy doing this you can 100% do it, just have to figure out, do I want to do it? <laughs> so if, you, if the answer, if you, if you want to do it is, if the answer to do I want to do it is yes, that means, yeah, you can 100% do it. But just like, you know, figuring out the right, uh, the right things to do, the right skills to gather, the right people to connect with, to like, you know, land a job if that's your end goal. So I started my YouTube channel in college, like I was like, okay, for fun. You know, when, when I got my internship at Google, let me share my experiences with other people. Like, you know, a black woman intern working at Google, this is possible, right? I, in one billion years, when I was in Nigeria, I would never have thought, like, you know, I work in tech, work at Google. Like, it was kind of very foreign to me, right? So I wanted to share my story with people and like, you know, share my experiences with people as well. So that was like the origin of the YouTube channel. And I think it's kind of growing with me as well. Like as, now I'm at finished college, I'm doing maybe more career stuff. I'm very interested in AI. I'm doing more AI stuff. So I'm like just taking my YouTube along with my story and my growth story and just like taking it, like, you know, taking it along with me. But um, yeah, that's what's made me want to start my YouTube. Where do I see my YouTube channel going? Great question. I think like, at least for now, I can speak for now. I've been doing a lot of like very AI centric content because I think AI is very, it's changing the way we do things in the world today. And there's a lot of opportunity there, number one. And number two, I just want to be at a position where like I can advocate for like people of color, black people in tech, as regards to like the responsibilities of AI and like, you know, because some algorithms can be biased and stuff like that. So I, I just want to position myself in that space. And I do a lot of like, sometimes I do like life, lifestyle content as well, maybe sharing like some, like some, key like aspects of my life with like the public as well 
and I think it's also a great way to meet like other people, see what other people are doing, just get visibility out there to like you know the world, you know, because you never know who's watching you or who's like seeing what you do. So it's just about like putting my work out there and seeing what I get out of it in the future. Yeah. So Tech Rise is an organization founded by Vivian Kiniga and I, and the genesis of Tech Rise, which is like one of the place where like African people in Seattle who also work in tech or who are interested in tech or who want to break into tech can have a community, right? And for me in particular, I can speak through this, like I just want a, a place where we can have conversations about like how different trends in tech are changing our life. Like in the past couple of, couple of years, we've experienced massive layoffs like in, in, in tech, right? So a place like we can find a network, find people to get referrals or just have conversations about, about this thing. So sometimes like it's, we, we live in a very tech centric city, Seattle, right? But we're not really, we don't really talk about tech or, you know, collaborate. You might want to find like a co-founder or a business partner. We want to create a space where people can do that. And maybe in the future also like expand to like other cities in the West Coast and see how we can like, you know, impact and bring people together. Because I think like when, when people come together, like lots of beautiful things happen, right? You just never know what happens. So. You know, she's a runner, she's a track star. <laughs> um, I um, I started running, was it like 20, when the pandemic, 2019, 2020, when the pandemic hit, we were at home, the gyms were not open. And I was like, running was the only thing I had, you know? I, there was no gym to go to, no weights. I was in my uncle's house in Maryland that time. So I think it's just a, it's a very interesting exercise because you don't need anything aside from yourself and your sneakers, right? So, and that was when I, I like, you know, I lost the most, the most weights in my life. I like, I shredded over 10, 15, 10 to 15 pounds of like weights during that, like, uh, during that summer. And I think it just makes me feel good overall. Like when I, when, since I started running, I wake up in the morning, I don't feel sleepy. So like nighttime, like I just, I think it transcends to my entire day. It just makes me just feel good, very energetic. So um, I try to combine it with like weight and all that as well. But she's a runner, she's a track star. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I do a lot of hiking in Seattle. Like if you're in Seattle, you're not hiking. What are you doing? <laughs> so I mean, Seattle made me do it. Seattle made me do it. I've been hiking a lot as well. Um, so yeah, this is my my I would say my hobbies for now. Uh, I feel like right now I'm just focusing on my career, my career growth in general. Like I joined Google like a year ago, so I think there's still a lot of growth for me. Just like getting to a level where like you know, I'm like, okay, look at Chisum. And like one year ago, this is a different, this is a different Chisum right now. This Chisum can can whip up any design in one hour. Can <laughs> you know that's an that's an exaggeration, obviously. <laughs> can never be perfect, but I just want to grow. That's what I'll say. I want to grow in my career and also focusing on like my personal life as well, my other interests, community building interests outside of work, technical interests out, outside of work, my, my, my YouTube channel as well. I just want to focus on like all that and just like, I don't want anything to lag behind. I don't want, I don't want my personal life to lag behind because I'm of work, right? So just like striking balance between my work, my YouTube channel, my friends and family, my hobbies, and all that stuff. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay.